Yeah, it's just for uh, us to get back healthy and, and play in the right way. And we did that the last two weeks uh, at home. And we're looking forward to carry that over. And, you know, come towards the playoffs, you want to play tough teams and you want to be healthy and you want to be in great form. And uh, it ticks all those boxes right now. And uh, it'll be a good uh, challenge for us on Sunday. You've had a tough season injuries-wise with higher missing and then night missing. Do you think you got them back at the right time to give them enough games to have an impact come playoffs? Yeah, you need to be healthy at the right time of the year. You know, January wasn't very healthy for us and we got a double whammy with the injuries and the schedule. But uh, it is what it is and uh, we're good now and uh, we've got no excuses this weekend. If you look back over the years and playoffs, it, it sort of has been first and second and natural winners, they go through to the grand final. Do you feel this year might be a little different, that third and fourth may have more of a chance? Yeah, obviously you want to stay healthy throughout the year, and I think with uh, Matt in the lineup, I think we're uh, 14 and, and five. So you take that in consideration, we'll be sitting in top spot. But um, look, the biggest key is to make sure you're healthy at the right time of the year and playing great basketball. And last week was one of our best uh, performances on the defensive end, and we're certainly going to need that against uh, New Zealand. Trev, Matty said yesterday he still had a bit of pain in the, the foot, in the toe. Is there any temptation on your part to, to give him a rest at any stage before the playoffs? No, we have to win games to qualify. You know, it's still mathematically that we can miss out. Um, and we need Matt to be a force in this league without a question. Any team that doesn't have their starting centre would struggle. So Matt's a, a big factor for us defensively and offensively. He does, uh, you know, equal amount of work. So. Um, you know, we got to get the get him in the right frame with the team. And look, if we have a chance to secure a playoff spot and come later on next week that we can uh, reduce his minutes, we'll certainly do that. New Zealand's last couple of losses in the past week to Townsville and Adelaide, have, you, have they given you guys any clues as to where they might be vulnerable at all? Yeah, look, I don't think they played particularly well against Adelaide. And they were still, you know, were still in there right at the at the last uh, last minute, but. Any team with uh, Jackson in there, you know, he's a smart guy and Vakona does a high work ethic and Webster's seen how good that he can shoot the ball when he's got his eye in and Abercrombie, you know, so they're a lethal force and uh, we expect a hard game. The travel smashed you guys in January, are you hoping you get a little bit back from it now that New Zealand have to go Thursday to Sunday? Yeah, well, look, like I said, we're back fully healthy so we've got no excuses now and um, we've had a good week to prepare and we're coming in in probably our best form for the season, so uh, looking forward to the challenge. Is it going to affect them, do you think? That's something you have to ask them. Uh, now, top two is out of the question uh, as it stands with the rankings, but how important is it to finish as high as you can just in case whatever happens you may get home court advantage? Yeah, uh, yeah, we want to secure a home, uh, sorry, secure a playoff spot without a question and, and we want to finish up higher and the ladder we can. Um, you know, some of those things might be out of our control. What we can control is the last three games. Make sure we're playing Wildcats basketball, and we know that's a recipe for success and something we're going to uh, look forward to do the last three games. How much does momentum uh, play a part in playoffs? Yeah, you've got to be healthy and you've got to be playing great basketball this time of the year, without a question. It's, uh, you know, you don't want to have your injuries, you don't want to be playing splutter and going into the playoffs because you get found out. And, uh, you know, in, in the playoff basketball, it's a tough defensively and grind, and, and that's what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, and looking forward to carrying that on this week. Who's the best team right now, Trev? The latter says Cairns and New Zealand are the best, but are you or maybe Adelaide the better teams right now in, you know, in best form? I think it's going to be a cracking finals. You know, if all four teams make it, it's going to be a... Um, you know, last year, you look at it, it's probably a little bit different. You can say, well, that's tick that box, tick that box. I think four teams are, are great and, um, you know, it's going to be a crack and we just got to make sure we're in there. And if we're in there, look out. You know, we're, we've proven what we can do in pressure situations and um, we're still capable of giving this thing a good shake. Sean, how's he? Has he been crook mm. in recent weeks and how much has that affected him and is he back to full? Fitness, sickness? We hope so. You know, we've we've taken him to the doctor a fair few times to get some blood tests. He hasn't been well since coming back from New Zealand and is not his normal uh, high energetic self. So hopefully that uh, we've solved a few problems this week and he, he, you know, he'll get back to normal on uh, Sunday. Do you feel like he's got a bit more energy or, you know? Yeah, it takes a little bit for the antibiotics to work into him, but, uh, you know, Sean, one of the things, Sean's one of the most professional athletes that you'll see. He does extra work and 
Um, to have him in high spirits is a bonus for us. What do you think it was? Just a virus or something? Or? Yeah, well, we've, we've ticked a couple of boxes, so hopefully we can tick a few more this weekend. So I'm no medical expert, but hopefully we're, uh, we're seeing the worst of it.